breaking news from Kentucky. The first state to do IT, Leach is ready to riot. The great state of Kentucky has confirmed on Friday that it will be the first state to make use of Thursday's guidelines from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services which will permit states to test work requirements for Medicaid recipients. Kentucky applied for permission to do this back in 2016, and the Republican governor from Kentucky, Matt Bevan said the Community Engagement and Employment Initiative will be gradually phased in later this year. The rules will require all able-bodied adult Medicaid recipients from the ages of 19 to 64 to engage in at least 80 hours of employment activities per month, or 20 hours per week. These activities would include jobs, community service, education, and job training. And of course exceptions for health reasons will also be taken into consideration, along with family commitments, and personal history will apply commitments which would qualify would be pregnant women and people who are the primary caregiver of a dependent. Kentuckians will also be required to pay up to $15 a month for their health insurance which would not include basic dental and vision care. However, those benefits can be earned back through a rewards program, such as getting an annual physical, completing a diabetes or weight management course or participating in an anti-smoking program. Governor Bevan in a statement on Friday said that Kentucky will now lead on this issue and argued that Kentuckians will now be afforded the dignity associated with being able to earn and have some level of engagement in the very things they're receiving. Via Fox News Trump administration opens door to allowing Medicaid work requirements The Trump administration announced Thursday that it will open the door for states to impose work requirements for Medicaid recipients in a major shift that could affect millions of low-income people receiving benefits. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services described the decision as a response to requests from states to test work requirement programs. Medicaid needs to be more flexible so that states can best address the needs of this population. Our fundamental goal is to make a positive and lasting difference in the health and wellness of our beneficiaries, and today's announcement is a step in that direction. CMS Administrator Seema Verna said in a statement. A letter sent to state Medicaid directors Thursday said the move would help improve Medicaid enrollee health and well-being through incentivizing work and community engagement. Our policy guidance was in response to states that asked us for the flexibility they'd need to improve their programs and to help people in achieving greater well-being and self-sufficiency, Verma said noting the agency has received demonstration project proposals from 10 states, Arizona, Arkansas, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Maine, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Utah, and Wisconsin. The test programs, according to CMS, could make work, skills training, education, job search, volunteering or caregiving a requirement for Medicaid for able-bodied, working-age adults. It would not apply to those getting benefits due to a disability, elderly beneficiaries, children, and pregnant women. The move was pitched as an effort to turn the page for states in the Medicaid program, to give them more freedom to design innovative programs and results, and to remove bureaucratic barriers. The plan will likely face a political battle, which could lead to legal challenges for the Trump administration over concerns that people would lose their Medicaid health care coverage. The plan comes after months of failed negotiations on Capitol Hill to repeal and replace former President Barack Obama's a landmark health care legislation. Under current law, people are not legally required to hold a job or to be employed to receive Medicaid benefits, but states can request federal waivers to test new ideas for the program. The Trump administration's latest action outlines guidelines that states should consider to have their proposals for waivers imposing work requirements federally approved. The waivers would be demonstration projects. Medicaid is a federal state collaboration covering more than 70 million people, or about one in five Americans, making it the largest government health insurance program. Medicaid was expanded during the Obama administration when an option was provided to allow states to cover millions more low-income adults. Under the new policy, states must fully comply with federal disability and civil rights laws to ensure that disabled individuals have the necessary protections to ensure they are not inappropriately denied coverage, CMS said.
states will be required to offer modifications to individuals with disabilities and will be required to exempt individuals determined to be medically frail or having an acute condition that would prevent them from complying with the new requirements. The Trump administration has been vocal about adding the new requirements for almost a year, but a study from the nonpartisan Kaiser Family Foundation revealed that more than half of working age adults on Medicaid are already employed. Nearly 60% work either full time or part time, mainly for employers that do not offer health insurance. The study said most who are not working report reasons like illness, caring for a family member, or going to school. The Kaiser Family Foundation also conducted a poll in 2017, which revealed 70% of the public support allowing states to impose work requirements on Medicaid beneficiaries. It is a very major change in Medicaid that for the first time would allow people to be cut off for not meeting a work requirement, regardless of the hardship they may suffer, said Judy Solomon of the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, which advocates for the poor. The Obama administration would have never approved such waivers, she added. Although liberals will whine and moan about this, this is how it should have always been. People sometimes need a helping hand. But there is no reason able bodied people can't still participate in the workforce. Even if it's in community service and charities. If not, people become complacent and the state becomes an enabler to the laziness of people. Please share if you agree with Kentucky Governor Matt Bevan. Matt Bevan.